I see some leaves of my plants have dried up uh, in the front yard and looks like there is not enough water coming out for all these plants. So I just wanted to see if my irrigation system is working fine. Uh, I suspect that uh, one of my zones, zone 2, has a problem with the solenoid. So I have a digital multimeter. I am trying to put it in a resistance mode. The idea is uh, when I measure the resistance between the live and the common uh, wires, if the zone is properly working, then the resistance should be low. If it is very high, that means there is an open circuit, a problem with the solenoid. So here I am testing my zone 1. As you can see, it says close to 72 ohms. And now I am testing my zone 2. It shows very high. Uh, as I suspected, there is a problem in zone 2. And uh, for the sake of it, I am also doing it on zone 3 and zone 4, which is showing close to 70 ohms, which is expected and the problem as I suspected is in zone 2 which is very high. Now I am in my front yard opening up the box and uh, trying to remove the solenoid of zone 2. It's pretty easy just cutting out the wires and twisting it with the hand in the anti-clockwise direction and this is the solenoid I was uh, referring to and looks like there is some problem and this is not working as expected. I got a new solenoid from Home Depot and uh, it's, uh, it comes with an adapter, the, it's Orbit brand. Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, you just uh, put it back in and twist it in clockwise direction uh, to fit it. And I forgot to tell you one thing, when you are removing the solenoid, you have to turn off the uh, irrigation system uh, so that the water doesn't just uh, flush out from this opening. Uh, so I did turn it off, uh, sorry I did not show that in this video. But the solenoid comes with uh, two wires. Uh, you can choose any one of the wires and connect it to the common one. Uh, the common is, uh, you, can, you can take reference from the other zones. You see all the commons from uh, zone 1, 3 and 4 co going to a common wire. So you connect one to that and the other wire you connect it to uh, the zone specific uh, live wire where we measured the resistance previously. And now I turn on my smartphone app and uh, turn on the zone 2 to see if uh, there is water coming out. And yes, I see water coming out of zone 2. This is good and the problem is resolved now. So now since uh, this particular uh, connections we made is uh, pretty much underground and it is dealing with the water. Uh, we need a proper insulation for these wires, uh, wires for safety and I am using a crimping tool set uh, to make a proper insulation of these wires. There are different things that you can do uh, but uh, this is what we have chosen to do here.